You know, it's interesting because um, there's a study done up in Canada where the feedback that youth hockey coaches give their players, 99% of the feedback they figured out in practice and in games was when was what their athletes did with the puck. And yet we know that only less than 2% of the games by the best players is played without the puck. And, and, and so we think about a lot of our focus is on player number one, but what are we doing in practice for players two through six, including the goalie making reads? We're going to talk about reads and, and, and that and dive a little bit deeper in the mental aspect with Marty. I'm kind of teeing this up for him here. Um, and yet, and we know that there's the four roles you know, in hockey, the puck carrier, the player defending the puck carrier, and then two through six on, on either team, offensive team or defensive team. And so, Marty, we had a discussion with, um, I think you probably remember this goal. Yeah. <laughs> I think Calgary remembers this goal. I know Tampa <laughs> certainly does, but it's considered one of the 100 greatest moments in the, in the 100 years of uh, the NHL. Um, an overtime game winner. And we were on a call last week and, and somebody asked you about goal scoring. I'd like you to just talk about goal scoring. And, and I thought your answer went back to what we, I just talked about with, with the, the play off the puck. Why don't you talk about what, what, what if someone were to ask you, Marty, what, what made you such a good goal scorer? What would you say? Yeah. I mean, there's a big difference between you know, scoring a goal and and getting scoring chances. That's what I value more. Like when I, if I got in a slump, I, I worry more like if I was getting scoring chances, you know? So people ask me like, can you teach somebody how to score a goal? I mean, you know, the kid has to work on his shot. Yeah, there's definitely technique that, that you know, they can get better at and, and obviously speed control coming down, whatever. There's a lot of things that come in the way, but play. But for me, what's the most important thing about scoring goals is, 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 is getting scoring chances and, and how to get open. And I felt, you know, that's probably one of my biggest strengths is I, I knew how to get open. And um, so if, if one of my kids struggling at scoring goals, I'm watching his routes and like, where does he go? You know, because uh, sometimes you can working harder uh, is not always the answer is, is working smarter is probably better. You know, I mean, working hard is, 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 is part of it, but sometimes some days they feel they just got to work harder. If I work harder, I'm going to score. Yeah. But you can work harder doing the wrong thing all the time. Uh, especially if, you know, if, if, if you're not six foot five and 230 pounds, I can fly. Like, uh, so to me, it's all about the, um, the routes that you run. You know, can you hide? Uh, can you see a play coming? You know, there's a lot of uh, chess involved in hockey, especially at a high level. You know, you, there's a little bit of checker, but there's a lot of chess. And can you play, are you good at chess? You know, because you can see a play happening. You know, you can see two plays that are going to set up a third and fourth play. And can you read that? You know, and where do you go off that? You know, a lot of that, like you we just talking about playing without the puck, like, that's that's really all I focus on most of the time. You know, when I do video with my guys, yeah, I mean, I definitely pay attention to the puck carrier, but I really focus on the guys without the puck. And sometimes the puck carrier would get stuck because the guys without the puck are not doing the right thing. And uh, and, and and to me, that's you know, it's it's the spacing and it's the the, the it's uh, you know attacking uh, seams and. Uh, playing with layers and there's, there's so many things that come into play and uh, but uh, if you're just working on your goal scoring touch instead of actually like focusing on how can I get open more uh, you know you're probably not going to score more goals.